بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم اینڈ السلام علیکم پاکستان وی آر موونگ فارورڈ ان کارپوریٹ گورننس اینڈ وی آر ٹاکنگ اباؤٹ دا ڈفرینٹ ایشوز اینڈ ہاؤ دوز ایشوز ٹین ٹو ایڈورسلی افیکٹ کارپوریٹ گورننس اور ٹین ٹو کیٹلائز کارپوریٹ گورننس اینڈ ٹو ڈے وی گوئن ٹو ٹاک اباؤٹ این آرگنائزیشن وچ از ویل نون ٹو ایوری ون اسپیشلی ان دا ایریا آف کارپوریٹ گورننس بیکاز اٹ واز ون آف دا میجر ڈیبیکلس آف کارپوریٹ گورننس وچ لیڈ ٹو اے فائنینشیل لاس آف ففٹی سکس بلین یو ایس ڈالرس اٹ کریٹیڈ ریورشنس اکراس دا فائنینشیل مارکیٹس globally it uh, tended to uh, create undulations and indulations across the industries and it made the stock exchange uh, the major stock exchanges of the world fall because uh, of the repercussions uh, uh, of that particular uh, debacle uh, ladies and gentlemen today we are going to talk about special purpose vehicle and complex accounting procedures and based upon all of this sometimes uh, a, a mist is created sometimes what we see is is that uh, through these different layers of structures uh, and these complex accounting uh, mechanisms uh, organizations tend to uh, shed away uh, the regulations and tend to override upon uh, the factors of corporate governance and therefore can have negative implications uh, all over uh, the creation of svt uh, spvs is an easy route to kill organizations as is evidenced in the collapse of the enron corporation just like i was mentioning uh, enron tried to solve the finance dilemma by allegedly looking for outside investors to help finance its investment so uh, what enron basically does is that create a layer upon layer create those independent layers uh, through special purpose vehicles financial special purpose vehicles and they were independent of each other and therefore the individual losses in each vehicle was not comprehended uh, at a holistic scale or at a central scale but when it all got together the pieces of the puzzle were put together then actually there was no puzzle there was only uh, a vacuum there was only a void and there were these massive losses uh, which were actually overshadowed by bad governance practices of enron and therefore the enron example is an example the very antithesis of uh, of corporate governance um, these joint investments were typically structured as separate entities just like i was mentioning the entities could borrow from the credit markets possibly with guarantees but independent of each other and therefore what we see is that there were these uh, cross uh, guarantees taking place and when it was assessed in totality uh, there was uh, there was no structure uh, we also see to a lower extent uh, there was uh, this um, this organization uh, called reliance uh, over here in pakistan and there too they had done something similar to a but uh, lesser scale but that was also in hundreds of millions of rupees and it also badly dented uh, the different uh, banks and financial institutions with the pakistan so uh, yeah to a lesser extent we saw it in reliance to a greater extent yes and ron uh, is a benchmark of bad governance uh, and again of spv structuring spvs in many aspects of his business uh, also tend to entail synthetic lease transactions and sale to spvs of debt or equity uh, interest owned by enron so again uh, what we see is that Uh, these spvs can create a lot of confusion can create a lot of mist can create a lot of diversion can also uh, create a lot of uh, a lot of suppositioned uh, equity and at the end of the day uh, when things uh, tend to straighten out then there's nothing uh, left for the organization and all of the different stakeholders tend to suffer sales to merchants hedging spvs of the enron stock or of contracts enabling them to receive the enron stock and transfer to spvs of assets often at above market value so again uh, what we see is that uh, those assets were overvalued especially properties and other shares so through this whole process of uh, having an spv of overmarketing of window dressing uh, of uh, multiple uh, mortgaging and all of these things put together actually rather than hedging losses tended to hedge uh, a debacle leading to bankruptcy uh, bankruptcy of the enron Uh, corporation uh, information asymmetrics uh, and asymmetries and conflicts of interest between contracting parties are considered important reasons for the commitment to increase transparency so what we see uh, in the enron debacle is again uh, that these asymmetries and then these incongruencies and all of these different uh, segmentization uh, of shadow uh, units and shadow corporations and uh, over uh, mortgaging and over evaluating uh between different contracting parties uh, has has actually given uh, the global uh, corporate governance uh, model and mechanism uh, a lot of impetus and therefore the focus 
is to increase transparency and to ensure that SPVs are not created, which could lead to great confusion. And now in the future, what we're going to see is, is that uh, we are going to have uh, this cryptocurrency also uh, debacle, which we have seen uh, in the Bitcoin and Ethereum uh, losing uh, the majority of a value collapsing from about $70,000 and going up to uh, about $15,000. So uh, what we see uh, is that this huge flux which took place actually uh, wrote off trillions of dollars. So uh, these type of things are still there and we can only uh, through corporate governance ensure uh, that these things do not tend to undermine global markets or undermine national markets or undermine uh, the global economy or even institutional economies. The information environment plays a central role both in determining the extent of these conflicts and in designing the mechanisms to mitigate them. So transparency coupled with uh, information and coupled with dissemination, uh, coupled with proper reporting procedures, uh, that tends to mitigate uh, all of this. But then again, there's always a possibility just like I was mentioning that right now we are seeing that uh, basically now in the cryptocurrency uh, where there is no regulation and uh, many organizations have uh, basically bought into uh, this product but yet again uh, there is no substance in it and there is no regulation by uh, the uh, state uh, financial institutions or state banks uh, and therefore uh, there is this great possibility uh, that uh, there could be a cryptocurrency debacle in the future. Hopefully not because uh, trillions of dollars would vanquish and would create a huge glut in the uh, economics uh, of uh, institutions and uh, also the global uh, setup. So that is something uh, that we have to uh, basically tend to ascertain and also uh, tend to mitigate. Uh, accounting uh, is a fundamental part of contracting mechanisms since it provides information for designing and evaluating contracts and that's why uh, complex accounting procedures and mechanisms and frameworks are always in place to ensure uh, that things are done in clarity and there is no ambiguity or confusion. That is extremely important. Higher quality financial reporting is essential to decrease the severity of information asymmetry between managers and market participants. So just like what we saw uh, in Enron, uh, we don't want to have a repeat of that or what is happening in the cryptocurrency uh, scenario right now. Uh, therefore, higher quality financial reporting would ensure that companies do not suffer uh, due to these uh, asymmetric uh, information uh, syndromes uh, which are present at a global and national level. Uh, the important role of financial accounting information is related to the limitations of relevant information for monitoring managerial behavior. So again, there are limitations, but through uh, proper designing, through proper strategies, uh, through uh, proper financial management, and through proper financial information systems, uh, we can tend to monitor managerial behavior and also monitor the future of an organization without compromising uh, on its uh, stable uh, frameworks and without compromising uh, on its productivity and its performance and that is extremely important. And the role of auditors, uh, they tend to uh, basically insist on compliance based on norms set by accounting standards laid down by regulators and international financial reporting standards. So these are all over there and that is why in corporate governance these international financial reporting standards uh, have to be met and we also have an independent session on these international financial reporting standards. So therefore, uh, through proper dissemination, through proper reporting, uh, through avoiding SPVs, uh, through ensuring uh, that uh, lesser risk is taken, through ensuring that there is transparency, to having the right levels of mechanisms uh, to regulate the different uh, financial implications and the financial investments, to ensure that everything is grounded uh, in meritocracy and also in the fact uh, that uh, nothing is being overvalued or multiple um, or being multiplied towards uh, multiple uh, mortgages or things like that, that would ensure uh, that there is corporate governance and therefore uh, through complex accounting procedures we can tend to overcome uh, the uh, incongruencies and the various uh, aspects of non-compliance uh, in organizations at a national and global level. Thank you so much.